Hi, I'm Hazel, and today we're looking at the 9-ish new mounts coming to WoW in patch 8.15 and what you'll need to do to get them. The new patch releases to live servers pretty soon on Tuesday, March 12th. First up is the Ironclad Frostclaw, which is a wolf that's both Alliance-themed and Alliance-only. This mount will be unlocked when you earn the Two Sides to Every Tail achievement. When you do that, you'll also earn the Blood Flank Charger mount for all of your Horde characters. To complete Two Sides to Every Tail, you'll need to do the War Campaign and Lore Questline achievements for both Alliance and Horde. That is a lot, but if it makes you feel better, doing that will also get you like 80% of the way towards unlocking Zandalari Trolls and Cult Ren Humans. You get to double dip. Next is the Beast Lord's Iron Tusk, which is the less fancy version of the Armored Iron Tusk. That one was Alliance only from the Shatari Defense Wad Rev, while this new one can be had by both factions via time walking. It'll set you back 5,000 time warped badges. You can get it from a vendor in Warspear or Stormshield when the new Warlords of Draenor time walking event is up. You'll also be able to shop for the Beast Lord's Warwolf mount, also on the Draenor time walking vendor, and also for 5,000 time warped badges. The next WAD time walking event is slated for May 28th, so you've got a few time walkings in between now and then to save up. The vendors and their items are event specific, but the currency is universal, so you can do a ton of Wrath, Kata, or Mop time walking to save badges and then get your mounts right away in May. Up to you. Next is the Zandalari Direhorn, which is usable on any Horde character on your account after you unlock Zandalari Trolls. To do that, you'll need to finish your Horde War campaign, questing achievements, be exalted with the Zandalari Empire, and do a short unlock questline. It's a recolor of the Pale Hide Direhorn, which is the half million gold sink mount that everyone forgot because, hey, there's a Brutosaur with an auctioneer. On the flip side, unlocking Cult Turan humans will grant all of your Alliance characters the Cult Turan Charger mount. If you took the Admiralty Stallion to a fancy hairdresser, this is pretty much what you get. This joins the Seabraid Stallion Collector's Edition mount as the only horses to have their mane styled. To unlock Cult Ren humans along with their mounts, you'll need your war campaign done, Alliance BFA questing achievements done, including Jaina's whole Siege of Borellis thing, be exalted with the Proudmoor Admiralty, and do the unlock questline. Jumping back to Direhorns for a sec, we have the Crusader's Direhorn. This mount is new, but it is for Zandalari Paladins only. All Paladins get a glammed up version of their racial mount basically for free, and Zandalari are no different. It looks like several birds were harmed in the making of this Direhorn, so the least you can do is ride it if you've got it. Next are the Alliance and Horde Vicious War Basilisk. These two are not in the Mount Journal of the PTR, but they have been forecasted as the Vicious Mounts coming down the road in BFA Season 3. Depending on how long the season and the patch is, that's probably sometime in 815. Vicious Mounts are unlocked through an account-wide progress bar now. Just win 2s, 3s, or RGBs at 1400 or above rating to earn progress towards your next Vicious Mount. It is tough to say when Season 3 might land though, so this one could be a while. And last, my favorite is Bruce. Bruce is a classically popular Brawler's Guild boss, and Bruce is a Crocolisk. This is not to be confused with a Basilisk or a Crowlusk. Bruce will not stand for that, and he's got six whole legs to be standing with. You can get this guy by completing the new Brawler's Guild murder mystery questline added in 815. Start that by heading over to the Brawler's Guild after the patch drops and jump into the ring to do any fight. This is the first thing that I plan on doing next Tuesday because Bruce is magnificent and I require him. So, those are the new mounts of 815. If you are a hair away from your next mount collecting meta achievement, this should sort you out. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!